Hello everyone and welcome. Almost two weeks ago, or at least as of the recording of this video, was February 3rd, 2022, making it over one year since I uploaded the very first video to the channel. In celebration of this special occasion, I am now going to run through a list of my five personal favorite videos from the past year, and of course, since everyone else will have their own list in mind, I highly encourage you all to leave them down in the comments below, or at the very least, list your single favorite video from the past year. All of my overviews here will be following a how, what, and why format, where I'll first go over how these videos brought something new to the channel, what about these videos I either like or dislike, and why these videos even made this list to begin with. Now without much further ado, let's get into my listings. Coming in at number 5 on my list is Homeowners Associations Kinda Suck. Now, how did this video add something new to the channel? Well, I'll tell you this right now, at the time that I uploaded this video, it had to have been probably the most casual, me-like video that had been uploaded to that point, you know? If you look through a lot of my older videos, you'll notice a lot of them are sort of delivered with this dry Dr. Todd Grande-esque sort of style fashion which, you know, I was watching him quite a bit at that time, so of course he would be the YouTuber that I would be more likely to imitate in my beginning. So, and you, you watch these videos and you sort of see that they're quite boring. I don't really inject much of my own personality in those videos, and I did just that in the HOA video. It's also worth mentioning that that video was done like quite spontaneously. I was just reading an article on homeowners associations like the pros and cons of them because I just looked them up out of curiosity and then just decided to make it. So there was really not much uh, rigid planning or design going behind this video in comparison with the videos that came before this one. Now, what about this video do I like and dislike? I really liked how I was able to basically get it in one take. And on top of that, for a topic that was quite spontaneous, you know, the idea of this video came to me like seconds before I literally hit record on the camera. So that's what I really like. Now, why did this video make the list? Well, alongside the reasons that I had just provided, this video made the list because it's a really nice video. It's a video that I could still sort of look back on and laugh along to and get the same feeling as I was when reading the article on camera, you know? I could just basically relive it and almost not cringe at it when watching it. Now coming in at number four on my list is a video that no one should be surprised is on the list. Um, it's I played a solo game of Jenga and here's what happened. Now as for how this video added something new to the channel, it really should be pretty self-evident. All of my videos up to this point, of, or at least up to the point where this video was uploaded, were commentary opinion pieces and as well as occasional filler videos and some minor shit posts, which I basically no longer do anymore. Um, it was the first video that brought the concept of playing around on camera to the channel. It was the first video to do that, and you can arguably say that this was more casual than my Homeowners Association piece video, which uh, I mentioned earlier in this list. Now, what do I like about the video? Well, I liked the video in the sense that it was once again me being me, and it was something that was entirely new, something that was unrelated to all the boring commentary opinion pieces. Now you get to a point where I'm casually conversing with the camera, playing with some wooden blocks on the floor of my bedroom. What do I dislike about this video? Some of you may not know this, but you may notice that the resolution on this video is slightly worse than some of my other ones. Well, that actually ties into something here because this was one of the last videos I edited using iMovie on my phone. I have practically bitched about several times in my comments, uh, in pinned comments, the storage space on my phone was running quite low to the point where I was unable to continue editing on it. And this video essentially marked like the final straw in terms of uh, why I stopped using that because this video was almost never released for the simple fact that I couldn't export it out of iMovie. I worked hard on it and if I couldn't release it, that would have been just like the most heartbreaking thing of all time. But luckily I, I found a way to release it and that's what basically started me on my journey to looking for an editing software that I could use on my PC instead. 
Just a quick pause before we continue the listings throughout the video, I'm going to be slightly amending the overview structure and that it's going to now compose of a how, what, and what else format instead of a how, what, and why, since the why is already being explained even before I get to that question. The what else section is going to be optional and is basically just going to cover additional things that I want to talk about that is not too, too important to the listing, but I found interesting enough to put here. So without further ado, let's get back into the listings. Coming in at number three on my list is probably a video you'd be shocked to know is included in the list, and that is my Bike vs. Predator story time plus mini PSA video. A nice, simplistic story time video, and being a story time video does not really need much else other than you talking and telling the story. Realistically speaking, editing is not really everything. It is a nice process for you to polish up a video, but sometimes you just don't need to. And even then, sometimes the simplest videos could make the list. This video was originally meant to be lighthearted storytelling, and I got the idea spontaneously when I was watching another video that had to deal with a topic similar to this, but you can tell that as the video drags on, my delivery of the story gets sort of more and more aggressive as I'm realizing I was not really in the wrong so much as I feel like I've been wrong, you know? You park on the sidewalk, literally the only space I fucking had on that road, you know, just to park there in my way and expect nothing wrong to happen. Granted, I crashed my bike into uh, someone's the side of someone's vehicle, but, but maybe I'm not actually all that bad a person for doing so, you know? Hopefully this person now, or the person whose car I hit with the bike, is now going to learn how to park properly. My penultimate video for this list, or my second to last video on the list, is going to be a tour of my setup. I mean, this video really hits it on all cylinders in terms of the simplicity spectrum. It's nice, relatively short and sweet, and it's up to this point the only viewer requested video I've made on the channel. Now, I feel like this basically fulfills the original purpose of what YouTube was supposed to be, in essence, broadcasting yourself. And in doing so, I am almost having a conversation with you all about how I do stuff around here. And hopefully, if any of you think about starting YouTube, then you will know that you may not need everything in the world. You probably just need YouTube open on a tab in your computer or even in your mobile device and just hit upload the video. So it was definitely a video that I feel proud of simply because everything in the video seemed so... Not very glamorous, but at the same time, I can make decent content even with what I had. So, beautiful video. Probably will do one again if anything changes and something amazing and interesting starts to dot my setup landscape. Or if I have some new gear or equipment here to make myself fancy and everything like that. So, yeah, good video. Nice and short, simple, viewer requested. I mean, what's there to hate about it, you know? And at last, we arrive at the video that sits at the very top of my list, and this shouldn't really be a surprise to anyone, so I'll give you a couple of moments to figure it out yourself if you haven't already. Have you guessed it at all? It is my I went on a camping trip and documented it vlogumentary. Yes, vlogumentary. A portmanteau I made up between the words vlog and documentary. Now this video is understandably by far the largest video on my channel in terms of duration and it took of course the longest to make as I was documenting my life over the period of several days uh, miles away from home. Um, but albeit it was quite a beautiful adventure and I really am proud of the video I made there and how it came out like. Though there are some things that I do have a problem with that I will definitely improve the next time I make one of those types of videos uh, that sort of ruins the experience for me whenever I watch it. And that is, for example, uh, shaky ass b-rolls, b-rolls that are too short and don't really document things in time before they just move off the screen. The fact that I had to flip around every video uh, whenever I pop them in the software because a lot of the video clips that I shot there I placed them into VSDC on the timeline and then they would appear upside down So I have to manually flip them I didn't couldn't figure out a way to actually flip them around without you know doing some sort of uh, stupid animation every time So there's a reason you see a little gap between the edge of the clip and the edge of the actual video So that those are some things that sort of ruined it 
also the filming of it didn't seem all that smooth either it almost seemed quite rushed and i guess it sort of it sort of was rushed because this is one of the few times where editing has actually become quite boring and i was so glad to have finished the video when i did but definitely am going to try to take my time with it next time and improve on things that were quite unfortunate and things that sort of messed up the video experience so all in all good video nicely done proud of the effort but you know improvement is a never-ending cycle so it's expected that'll be the the flow for the future and voila everyone my top five favorite videos from the past year from the top of this stack to the bottom from my least favorite to my favorite of the top list respectively now who knows i'm curious to know what everyone else's favorites are i'm sure there are some videos that everyone thinks should have gone in this list but i didn't put there so feel free to leave them down in the comments below i'll be waiting this video took a long ass time to make it is now the afternoon of march 4th so i really hope you enjoyed this video and I guess here's to a year of more awesome videos i'm out